<laughs> oh, I missed you. I know, I always say that. But you wouldn't love me if I didn't say it all the time, right? No, <laughs> you'd probably still love me. I know, I'm just that lovable. And you're just that cute. I know, I'm not exactly the type for such a thing. I'm too cool for this. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, that was my most beauty cool babe. Alright, so you're my pebble, but you know who's counting? I just thought after all the chaos that happened, we'd enjoy some nice quality time. As for what that means, it probably means eating chicken nuggets and sitting on the couch. Exciting. Well, it's exciting when you're doing it with someone as awesome as me. I mean, come on. Nobody else has my style. I mean, uh, you know. Hey, wait a second. I gotta get this. Yeah? Damn. You serious? Okay. Yeah, I got you. Sorry about that, babe. Just looks like something's going down. Oh, um... And, well, I'm trying to be more normal, and... I figure if I do enough crime fighting, I'll get all my memories back. I haven't been too bad, have I? Hey, you'd tell me if I made you sad, wouldn't you? I'm... I won't make you sad, I promise, okay? I'll make sure I take things serious and go about it the old-fashioned way. I mean, not too old-fashioned, mind you. I'm not like that. I just meant more like, you know, the old style of going at something through trial and error. No Google searches and no Siri. It's kind of nice to get some fresh air, isn't it? I mean, don't get me wrong, chilling on the couch with you? No, that's my idea of a good time, but... I think today's going to be a little bit different than that. You know, just a hint of action, maybe some spice in there, a random kiss. What? <laughs> random kisses are the best kind. Bet you didn't expect it. Nah, you probably did. Even if you did, though, bet it was the best kiss you've ever had. <laughs> I could hope. Wishing, you know. Better than, uh, saying it wasn't good at all. I'll take it. Oh, by the way, before I forget, this is for you, Pebble. What? I thought it was cute. Get matching necklaces. And we can take a selfie. Smile for the camera. <laughs> I love that picture. It totally captures our energy together. I think that's a keeper. Here, sent you a pic. <laughs> I'm gonna put that as my new wallpaper. Totally gonna frame that one someday. Oh, bet. You better believe I'm gonna. I don't know. Something about having a necklace that matches. Me being the, the manly man and you being my pebble. I mean, that's not what it says on there, but who's counting? Oh, by the way, before I forget... I wanted to ask you. Well, I, I guess I'm a little more, uh, perceptive these days to subtle things. Have I been me? I know that's a funny thing to ask, but I know I kind of gave up on being the old me in a sense, but at the same time not. I just want to be myself, and I hope I haven't been weirding you out or anything. I think I got the same crackhead energy. And by crackhead energy, of course, I mean energy and positivity. Look, crackhead energy was what somebody called me when they were being silly. It's just one of my buddies. Uh, don't worry about him. You know him. Just good old Bakugo. I don't know why he chose those words, though. He was acting strange that day. Eh. Then <laughs> there was that day with Deku, and yeah, everyone's been acting kind of weird lately. At least I got my pebble for stability. Wait, that doesn't sound like it would be very stable, like using a pebble for that, but... You're my treasured pebble. You're like a diamond, even though you're a pebble. It makes sense to me, so, uh... It's still cool if I call you pebble, right? 
<laughs> well, that's an interesting one. I guess I'll have to think about it. No, not because of that. Because the way you answered. I guess I want it to be something that makes you explode with happiness and, uh... I don't know. I just don't want to take mediocre as okay. I want my mediocre to be my best. I want my best to be even better. Look, I know I've been extra random today, but it was because I was nervous about the gift. I was also nervous about, well, who the villain is. It's a big bad one today. It's like a Nomu the size of a skyscraper. What am I supposed to do about that? Like, I'm sure others are going to go and help, but... Can I really do something? I want to protect people. Most of all, I want to protect my Pebble. Moreover, you haven't been too well, have you? No, not like that. <laughs> no. I know you're okay that way, but... It seems like recently, every time we're together, that, like, subtle glints in your eye. You know, you smile a lot, but sometimes it feels like you put a lot of pressure onto that. Like, you feel like you have to smile. And I'm glad if I inspire a smile on you or something. I just don't want you feeling like you gotta smile or else, or else, I don't know, a giant spoon will descend from the sky and spoon out your, uh, um, y yesterday's meal. That, yeah, that didn't come out right. But you get the point, right? Like, there's no impending threat if you don't smile, and I want you to be comfortable enough where, well, you could trust me again. You know, sometimes when you don't really, I mean, I don't think that you don't. It's more like I, I changed. Life changed us, and it doesn't always go the way we plan. And I think that's totally okay, because, you know, I kind of wouldn't exist if not for that. I mean, at least I'd be the old me, but at the same time, I'm sick of wishing to be the old me, and I... I want to make sure that if I do recover everything, I'm still me. That made total sense, right? Well, the point is, I just wanted to know if you were happy with me lately. If there was anything I could do to make you more happy and... Ah, shucks. I'll just give you a hug. <laughs> I'm in heaven whenever I get to give you a hug, you know. Just holding you like this. Smiling. You got the most beautiful smile, you know? You might not think so, and I get that. I get that. <laughs> everyone kind of looks in the mirror and they're like, Ew, what the heck is that? But that's not how everyone else sees it, and I think it's better to see it as at least decent. I know. I know sometimes it's not that simple. But I'll be damned if I don't try and make it that simple. <laughs> Another surprise kiss, just to keep things spicy. <laughs> oh. oh, wait a second. Oh, Timber, you hear that? Ah, uh, maybe it's because my ears have been sensitive lately. But there was like a noise. I think the Nomu got defeated, and that ah, sure enough, there he is. Hey, Big Bird Man! Oh, look at who did it! <laughs> Never would have guessed, but it looks like Hawks has saved the day again. I don't know, don't really know the guy, but, uh... Here he's been getting into a scandal with his love and all that. Uh, something about... Pictures circulating, propaganda... I don't really follow that kind of thing, it was just in my feed. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, what are we gonna do? Worry about if someone sees us together? I don't care if they do. Put me on the front page. I'll proudly claim my pebble. Oh, I don't think it was anything like that. I think more like what happened was, is, uh, I assume a misunderstanding? I don't know. That's what it seems to be. Two sides arguing back and forth. Guess we'll never see the end of it. Aren't you glad we're not like that? I mean, come on. You know I'm good for manly things. But I'm not so good when it comes to, ah, uh, what's the word? Doing things that require me to argue with you, hurt you, make you cry. <laughs> no, no, no. Not my thing. Though I do admit sometimes I get tendencies to, like, I don't know, like, lift you up into the air. 
Like this. <laughs> I don't know. Call it compulsory or something. That's how you say it, right? I don't actually know. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't use words that are too big for me. But the point is, I feel compelled to. I guess I could say compelled. Okay, whatever. Um, you know, my awkward moment aside, I really like holding you like this. <laughs> Do you ever get tired of me? You know, you can be honest, I I don't blame you if you do. I meant about, like, how I sometimes stumble all over myself. I figured maybe it gets old sometimes, and maybe I'm... You know, I got a lot of places to polish and and make shinier. Just because I'm one hard boy... Hard man, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Either one's fine. But I think manliness is better. You know, even though I'm a hard boy, it doesn't change the fact that I, I got a lot of areas that are rough around the edges. You know, I'm kind of still on the uptake, so... If you don't mind being patient with me, I'll make it worth your while. That's the deal. Promise. No, oh, uh, I, I didn't mean that's the deal like you had to agree. Well, you do? <laughs> then that's fine. By the way, Pebble, something super serious came up. We walked by. My favorite place to eat. Wanna go? I know we've been here like three times in the past week, but maybe it's the fourth time. Sound good? I don't know, something about those soba noodles, they're just so good. What? I'm a sucker for things with meat and noodles. I mean, ramen's pretty good, too. But... Maybe not quite as good. Oh, God. You can smell it. It's so good. I feel the tasty treat just a few steps away, and I'm already drooling. Almost as much as when I get my pebble alone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not sorry. What? I had to have my appetizer before we go in for the main course. <laughs> I realized something, Pebble. Can't always be the passive guy if I'm gonna be manly. Besides, he's so damn cute. You know that, Pebble? <laughs> Every time I look at you, I practically see my ideals just... Just plastered there in front of me. Exactly how I saw them in my dreams. You know, I used to dream a lot about having a proper romance, even though it wasn't really something I thought was for me. I thought I'd go my life and be a solo, uh, solo kind of guy. But, turns out my life was a duet, and I didn't even know it yet. Well, until I met you, and things got clear. Thank you, Pebble. I still got a long ways to go before I can make you feel just that special, but... Ah, oh, hell. I can't wait that long. Screw eating. We'll eat another time or get takeout. I want you. I want you to see me choosing you over my favorite meal. <laughs> I'd suggest doing something crazy in the restaurant, but... I don't want to get banned from my favorite place, so why don't we go to one of those nice places around here? You know, get a special penthouse hotel, look over the place, have the most romantic evening this side of forever. Unless, of course, you're sick of romantic evenings, and then we'll make it something more... I don't know, we'll figure it out. Maybe more exciting, more alluring, more smiles. <laughs> I'm addicted to those, especially yours. I know there's a lot of plans and they kept getting canceled today. I mean, I would have liked to take you on a mission, but I don't know. At the same time, you being in danger, that's like nightmare fuel. You know I love you. So you better know how much I'd hate to see you get hurt. All this... Damn. I'll be damned if I can't make you smile by the end of the night. I've already made you smile a few times, I bet. 
Well, I mean, does that count? I, I don't know if the gift counts. I mean, it's kind of like using a crutch, so I gotta go at it without any crutches. With just my lips, my arms, and holding you tight. And of course, my wonderful personality. Which is obviously what you love me for, right? Come on, you sweet thing. I love you. <laughs> I love you so damn much. And I'll continue loving you for all of eternity plus ten years. Oh, that ten years you earned that the hard way. Well, you see those times that you gave me sass back when I was saying something to you? Well, you earned yourself ten more years with Kiri. You owe me those years, too. <laughs> what? Can't handle the truth? Because the truth will set you free. But nothing can set you free from me. I'm afraid you got involved in something far beyond your comprehension. No matter what you do, I'll be right here. Whispering sweet nothings in your ear. I bet you thought you could get away from me. No, no, no. In fact, there's going to be more of those sweet cuddles. More of those cuddles you live for. You know why? Because I'm sick of it, babe. <laughs> I'm sick of people always trying to steal the spotlight. Now, I don't need to be in the spotlight forefront and center. But I want to be by your side. I want to be the man of your dreams. Man, that's, that's a lot of work, but it's good work. The work that I want to be doing. I was thinking of, you know, since my injuries, I might end up retiring from being a hero, settling down with you, and just calling it, you know, whatever you want to call it. A crazy thing we call love. Uh, that sounds about right. I mean, it's not perfect because, you know, it's crazy and something we call love, but... What I want is more time with you. I don't want things to take away from it or put us in danger. I mean, I can't even tell you how it'd feel if something happened to you. I, I, I don't know what I'd say. What I'd do, it, it would crush me. I'm not prepared to be crushed that way, I'm going to be honest with you. It sounds horrifying just even thinking about it. <sighs> yeah, let's, let's not talk about dark things. I know how it is. It's easy to get swept up in them, and... Yeah. I certainly wasn't unaware. I know. You've had some pretty horrible dreams. Pretty horrible situations, too. I mean... Putting all that aside, I... I don't know what to tell you. Except for that... I'm gonna be there. You know where everybody else leaves, where the going gets tough? Guess what? The tough don't get going today, babe. No way in hell I'm leaving my pebble for anything. And all the trials we've been through? My goodness, you must really love me. I mean, you put up with my rambling, my cheesy loving, and all of the other quirky things that are Kiri style. I mean, there's a lot of things that are Kiri style, but uh, I'd just like to say that I love you. Plain and simple. The old-fashioned way. You know, the whole, I'm crazy about you, I want you to be crazy about me, I don't really care about anyone else that way, I mean, I care about my friends, but not as much, and... <laughs> I'm simple. But I guess that's why I'm like a boulder. I'm great at being the boulder, and you're great at being the pebble. That's what the necklaces say. <laughs> I got them custom-made with my last paycheck. I mean, they cost most of it, but, hey, it was worth it to me. So no feeling guilty about it. I know, I know. You're not used to getting big presents from your big boulder, but sometimes even us heroes gotta do something for our heroes. You know, it's, it's so funny to me. I thought I was gonna be the best hero. I thought I was gonna do that my entire life, but... The more I thought of the danger, the more I thought of losing you. The more I thought of less time with you. The more I wanted more time with you, and the more greedy I got. So, 
I hope you don't mind if I go ahead and make you mine. <laughs> I mean, not like you'd let me let go of you or something, would you? I've got the iron grip. You couldn't get out of my arms even if you wanted to. <laughs> or break from my kiss. And maybe I want to change things up a bit today. Make you feel extra embarrassed. <laughs> what? Wouldn't you like to know? Guess that's for me to know and you to find out. Hmm. Cute reaction. Guess you want to be kissed all over. <laughs> I don't care if someone sees. Why would I? I'm already on the front of newspaper all the time. I hope they start a scandal. Go ahead, make my day, reporters. Big boulder man loves his pebble. They elope, get married. Leave the world behind mysteriously. When will the great pebbles and boulders go back from hiding? Little did they know, we never will. <laughs> Unless we decide to someday. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to talk to you about something that, that's been on my heart for a long time. Would you be willing to... Um... This is hard to ask. Sorry. Give me just a second to compose myself, because I never asked anyone this in my life, so, um... I know the situation at home, and... Well, as you know, I... Can't really do anything about... Um... My whole stuff not working proper. Um, but... I was curious if you might want to go and... Uh, stay together for life, get married, and adopt a kid with me? I don't know, I always dreamed of being a father, but only if I get my pebble at my side, and, you know, I, I love you. Listen to me. It's okay to say no. I don't care what the answer is, I, I, I just had to say it. I want... I want to start a family with you. I get it. And that's okay. That's why we got adoption. I know there's things that could be done, but... Why even bother? There's kids that need a home. And they'd be no less our kid than anything else. You hear me? I don't judge by blood. Besides, my family wasn't the best in the first place, so... Why would I bother? They aren't really my focus. But... My... Wonderful child would be. <laughs> I want someone else to focus that hero time on. Since there's gonna be more time for us anyways, might as well enrich the life of a child too, right? That way, we'll be able to have somebody... Somebody who's there. Who <laughs> we can help make their life better. Maybe they'll be an even better hero than I was. I mean, that was a tall order to fill. I know. And we're still young enough that who cares? I'm sure we'll get along just fine, and if there's problems, we'll take care of it. I love you. I wouldn't be saying all this if I had any doubts. I got no doubts at all with us, and I... I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. Like, you have no idea. I'm so excited. I've never done anything like this, and, um, well, I thought maybe it just goes along with the whole what we could do in the future. Not that I think anyone needs children. It was just something I kind of wanted to do. I always had it in my heart. Those people who don't even have bad parents. They don't have any parents at all. It must be tough. And I think I'd be a good example. I know how to teach a kid to be manly. And if we happen to adopt a daughter, um, I'll try and help there too. What? 
She can be manly if she wants. I'll just teach her the ropes and we'll see what happens. <laughs> but... That's still a ways down the road. However... I think it's time we caught up on unfinished business. We've been out today and you haven't gotten at least 10,000 kisses. <laughs> now you owe me one. 100,000. <laughs> and the tally's gonna keep going up, up, up until you give me more like you mean it. <laughs> God, I love you. I didn't even know it was possible to feel this feeling this strongly. Like, I, I got butterflies in my stomach. I, I feel like my heart's gonna beat out of my chest, and I'm holding you so close, but I want to hold you closer, but I'm low-key afraid I'm gonna crush you. But, eh, no, nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> You're mine. You're all mine. And I'm all yours, Pebble. You best believe it. <laughs> oh, looks like someone wants a more literal display of all yours. <laughs> I don't mind obliging. <laughs> Besides, all of that's down the road a bit. As for you... <laughs> Can't just leave things like that, now can we? <laughs> Victory kiss! <laughs> You're so cute when you shy away just a bit. It's so damn addicting. <laughs> I could get used to this. <laughs> Too long of a kiss for you? What's the matter? Can't handle me? Don't go giving up on me too early now. <laughs> I challenge you to a kiss off. <laughs> kiss those problems away. Those nightmares. All those things that make you sad. I'll drown in those lips of yours, and I'll call it good. <laughs> I just get so giddy every time. It feels like my first kiss with you all over again. <laughs> I just love it. Every moment we get is a moment I'll never forget. And if I do, for some reason, you know how to remind me. <laughs> So damn cute. I could get used to this. <laughs> You're way too much. Yeah, I'm the manliest man around. The manliest man this side of everywhere. What of it, babe? Mm hmm. You might just be the cutest of all. Nah, there's no contest. You win on all fronts. Mm. <laughs> what? You have a really cute expression right now. <sighs> Oh, sorry, didn't hear me? I said I love you. 
<laughs> and everything else will just fall in place. I know it. Why? Because I got a gut feeling about us. About everything. <laughs> gut feelings are almost never wrong, you know? <laughs> You're a savage, aren't you? Well, can't say I have a problem with dating a savage. Definitely suits me, doesn't it? Suits you too. Us together? Two savages against the world. What, you think I can't be a savage? Well, you don't know the half of it, babe. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know me inside and out. And I kind of like that about you. Well, actually, I love it, but, you know, who's counting that? I mean, like and love, really cut from the same cloth. Gotta like and love at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. And besides, all that. Just the fact that I got to spend more time with you is something I'm gonna celebrate. So... What kind of kid do we adopt? <laughs> I know you want to start a family with me. You already made it clear. Now I just got to figure out what we name them, what we do with them, what we do from here on out. <laughs> You're all mine. Hey, Pavel. You better get ready for one hell of a marriage ceremony. I may not be the me from the past. That's exactly why I want to do it proper. What? I can't be greater than the great Kirishima Eijiro from before? <laughs> of course I can. I'm totally as good. I mean, I don't want to badmouth my previous self or anything. But they're... You know, <laughs> like my respected... Uh, past self like I, I um I mean I'm still them but you know it takes some getting used to but I'm still me at least I think I'm still me you'd tell me if I wasn't right and I doubt you'd feel comfortable enough for all the things that we do <laughs> so I'm gonna just take the professional opinion and say I am me and we're gonna get married and have the most banging ceremony you can imagine uh -huh. Don't get too excited, though. <laughs> I don't care how complicated things get. A simple kiss, time with you. It's never gonna get old. Damn, babe. I just love it. Feeling you so close. Loving you. Having all of my plans for the day turned upside down, and getting to spend all of it with you. <laughs> Come on, Pebble. Show me what you've got in single combat. You know, maybe a round two. <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me you couldn't handle me if I was on the offensive. Besides... Just because he snuck in a few kisses, maybe did a few techniques I wasn't prepared for, doesn't mean I can't totally subdue you with love. What? My positivity? My madly being in love with you? I'm sure you'll get the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, for now... Why don't we avoid any points, let our brains melt together, and get lost in kisses? <laughs> You're out of this world, you know. <laughs> Did I just say no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to stop me from kissing you, but it is going to make me laugh something fierce. <laughs> God.
God, I love you, babe. <laughs> Any chance I get to laugh with you? A chance I'm not going to miss. That's a promise. And besides, <laughs> laughter's contagious, and I want to see more smiles from you. <laughs> Never force it, okay? I want you to be yourself. We'll figure out all the details on the way to that. Because really, what kind of planning do we make? <laughs> I'd rather plan on nothing. <laughs> make every day a surprise, right? <laughs> That's all I could ask for. Thanks for being my pebble all this time. I really never could get tired of you. <laughs> I love you, pebble. Now I always will. <laughs> and every time you make that expression, I'm gonna kiss you. <laughs> now, careful. I might just go for that round, too. <laughs> God, I love you so much. <laughs> and I can't stop smiling. Guess whose fault that is. 